Hello there, Ray here, and today guys I'd like to show you a very simple iron farm design for 1.14 and above. Now before iron farms depended on villagers as well as doors, which they counted as houses, you had to have a certain amount of villagers as well as a certain amount of doors for them to produce iron golems. Now the way that it works is they need at least 5 villagers to start up an iron golem, and they need to talk among themselves in order to actually decide on something in an iron golem. They also need to be able to go to their workstation every day as well as go to bed. The design here is very simple. What we have is the five villagers in this little cubicle here. They're all standing on top of their beds. Also right here in front of them is all their workstations. And then just underneath of them is the spawning floor for the iron golems. So what the villagers will do is they'll go to their workstations and then afterwards they'll go to a meeting and during the meeting they'll gossip and then they'll decide if they want an iron golem. And then when they do want an iron golem they will spawn one in just before it turns dark. Then they'll search around the area and try to put in an iron golem around here. And what we have is a spawning area for the iron golem to be placed on. And they will spawn directly inside of water and then they will be flushed towards the center. So if I just spawn one on here you can kind of see how it works. You get pulled into the center and we just have a single lava blade there and this will do damage to him and then he will eventually die. They do have quite a bit of hearts so it takes a little while but it doesn't affect the rates if there's iron golem just sitting here. And then we have is a hopper here which will just pick up the loot and then it'll put it down into the chest underneath here. And this is where you'll collect your iron ingots as well as poppies. Now if you want to you can go ahead and convert your poppies over into bone meal with the composters now. And that's one of probably the best ways to get materials to convert over into bone mill. Since iron golem farms kind of run all by themselves, they will always be producing yourselves poppies and then that can be converted to bone mill. So therefore you have like unlimited amount of bone mill. If you learn more about composters and all the different types of items that you can use to turn into bone mill, I did do a separate video which I'll link in the description. The size of this farm is 19 blocks by 19 blocks. And then we just have a bunch of water sources along here. We have a water source here and a bunch along this side as well. And that's just continued around the edges. The villagers in the center are using cauldrons as a workstation. Now there's a lot of different types of workstations that you can use, but cauldrons is one that's not a tile entity, meaning that there's just a little bit less data for the game to keep track of, which should help on lag. Now we have this ring around the villagers just to prevent them from escaping. We're also using slabs so the iron golems will not spawn on top of it. And in the early snapshots, if you've been kind of following the streams when we were designing these farms, you notice the iron golems were actually able to spawn inside of blocks and would try to spawn on top of these workstations if they were solid top. But they have now fixed that so you don't have to worry about that. And that's also kind of why some of the design doesn't have solid blocks underneath of it just to prevent them from spawning. And they were also able to spawn directly inside of like solid stone and stuff and instantly start suffocating but that has all been fixed. And one thing you do need to be worried about is lightning strikes. So if lightning is able to strike near these guys it will convert them over into witches. You want to go up about 10 meters above them and put in a platform directly over top of them. So that lightning strikes up high and hits that platform, it'll check downwards and try to convert stuff over into witches, but in which case these guys will be too far away. Now having a bale isn't necessary to actually get iron golems to spawn, and in my testing I found out the rates are very similar with and without a bale, but essentially what a bale does is it kind of encourages all the villagers to come to one spot to gossip. But in such a small farm like this, you really don't have to worry about that. But if you did want to put a bale in, you could put one in like right here and then they will just kind of congregate underneath of it and do their meeting. You want to make sure not to put it kind of close down to here because they have trouble pathfinding around it and if you put it down where they pathfind into it they'll get kind of stuck in it and they won't be able to go to their beds. Now I'd advise building this in your spawn chunks because they fixed the problem with spawn chunks and now they are still being loaded as entity processing therefore uh, villagers and iron farms will continue to work inside of them even in 1.14. And that way on servers it'll be constantly producing you iron and even in single player it's more of an ideal spot than putting it anywhere else. As spawn will be loaded even if you're working in other places in the overworld. But you do kind of want to keep it away from other villages that way you don't have villagers trying to go to a different meeting point. So I'd say about 64 blocks away from a village should be fine. Now there is a wide range of bugs that are affecting the villagers currently which makes it very difficult to design iron farms. During the streams we designed a couple of very nice iron farms that should in theory work very nicely except the villagers constantly keep losing their professions 
And sometimes they'll go to bed and then just abruptly wake up and then they will never go back to bed again. But there is many more bugs that exist to do with the villagers. And one of these bugs actually affects the rates of this type of iron farm as the villagers, when they are gossiping with each other, their gossip kind of starts in one direction and then kind of goes across the rest of them. So depending on how they're positioned, only one villager will actually try to summon a iron golem, which makes it kind of uncommon for iron golems to actually be spawned in during these versions. And this really cuts down on the rates as this village should produce an average of 36 iron ingots per hour but this one only produces about a stack every 12 hours which is a significant cut from what it should be producing all because of this bug that is in the game still and you can see how they're flickering their trades right now this is all stuff that's affecting villagers currently and this guy just completely lost his trade for a short while and this sort of stuff is also suffering the game as it's creating more lag, the villagers doing all these extra checks. So if you guys could, I will link down in the description a couple different bugs that do with the breaking of these iron farms as well as villagers just not doing very well in general. So guys, be sure to go down in the description and look at the different bug reports and try to upvote them so that they'll get fixed right away. As these are some pretty major bugs that are affecting vanilla survival players. Now, iron farms can be built up in overworld as well as in the nether and the end dimension. So if you build it in those dimensions, you don't have to worry about the lightning. You can also build them underground now. Since they don't have any doors, they don't need to have like any skylight. The villagers will actually sleep in the bed during nighttime during the nether as well as the end dimension. Even though they can't see that it's nighttime, they have like internal clocks and they'll go to bed. And their beds will not actually explode either. Where if a player would normally sleep in the bed in the end dimension or the nether, the bed would explode. So ideally to compensate for this problem about villagers not able to gossip properly, I actually designed a farm where all the villagers would be in a one by one area. And let me show you guys that design. This is the design that's supposed to do the 36 ingots per hour. The only problem is the villagers will lose their workstations, so they'll lose their professions, and they also won't sleep in their beds properly. But the way that this is designed is that they are all placed in a one by one area, therefore they're able to gossip with each other. And since they're all right directly inside of each other, they're all able to gossip with each other and all able to summon in iron golems, which would make this iron golem farm the maximum output for the minimum amount of villagers needed. Also notice that we have two killing chambers as well as two spawning floors. Now you do see this fire here, but the fire is trying to burn on this bed. The bed is non-burnable, so you don't have to worry about that fire. And we also have some string in here just to prevent the doors from burning up. But essentially, this works very similar as the other one. The iron golems would spawn in in the water here, and burn up in the lava, and the items get put into the hopper. And same for this floor up here. And they come into the center, burn up, and then their items will get aligned and drop down into here. So hopefully this iron golem farm will work in the future as soon as they fix those bugs. So definitely go ahead and upvote those bugs so they get fixed right away. Wootux helped me try to overcome some of these bugs, but there's just too many bugs currently, even in these later versions, for this type of iron farm to work. And then Excel, once we try to figure out what type would be the most efficient, Excel came in and helped me design the setup here, where the villagers are all put into a one by one right after they sleep in their beds. And you notice that they have these little name tags over top of them, and this is a data pack made by Fax, and he made it so that we can easily kind of decipher what's going on. We can see if the villager has his workstation, we can see if he has slept properly, and then we can also see like if you're thinking about spawning in an iron golem which makes it really nice for debugging iron farms. I'll put the link to his data pack down in the description if you want to check it out. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me to make an iron farm. That's kind of why I wanted to make this video to kind of explain where iron farms are currently and also go over some of the reasons why we're having trouble with iron farms currently. So hopefully they get these bugs fixed. As well as if you're looking for some more iron farms, uh, Wutex also made a couple different iron farm designs himself, which I'll link down in the description. Especially if you're looking for iron farms that don't have the minimal setup, he has ones that have a lot of villagers and produce a lot of irons per hour. Now they did come out with two more pre-releases for 1.14.2. This is pre-release 2 as well as 3. Now they didn't fix too many bugs. One of the bugs that they fixed in pre-release 2, if the player is swimming up by a ceiling, it'll actually put the player into crouching mode. Now because of these changes, this is one of the things I do not like about the change to do with crouching. This is because when I do testing, I do a lot of going into spectator mode and then moving myself into blocks and then going back into creative. And you can see what just happened there. It automatically put me into like swimming mode. And then if I hit spacebar, you can see I can go even higher up. And then essentially, if I wanted to go back to normal mode, I have to keep going downwards in creative until my head can fit. And then I'll switch me back again. And this is extremely annoying when you're trying to work in small places, trying to put like villagers in. Let's say I'm trying to work in this small area here. And then I, and then if I switch into spectator mode, it shoves me underneath of this bed here. And yeah, and if I go back, you see I'm back where I want to. Let's say if I want to click on that villager, 
And I can't even do that because it puts me back underneath it again. So really strange stuff like this, it gets really annoying when you're trying to build, especially in really tight quarters. So the bug that they fixed there doesn't actually help with this type of situation. They also added a couple more different alt combinations to make some more different types of characters. Now in pre-release 3, they fixed a pretty annoying bug, which is a continuation where people would get their lights that they had in dark areas, essentially those lights would not work and then the area would become dark again. I know Hermitcraft had a really big problem with this where their torches would be like sitting there, everything around the torch would be extremely dark. And they tried to fix this three times, so this is the third time they try to fix it. So hopefully it is completely fixed. If it's not, be sure to go ahead and voice your concern. And they also fixed another bug to do with not being able to sneak once you're swimming. And essentially what happens here is that if you're crouching, then you're unable to swim. And I'm currently in the version that this is not fixed, so you can see it doesn't work. They also fix a bug to do with the gateway portals, and we were doing quite a bit of testing with those, and doing that infinite villager trading with that technique. Now it seems that infinite villager trading wasn't very consistent using the gateway portals, but the bug that they fixed was that entities clipped through the blocks after they traveled through the gateway portals. And this is something we actually noticed, but it wasn't that big of a thing. They also fix a bug where your teleporting long distances on servers would cause you to clip into the ground which is something we kind of came across during our streams, but it wasn't as big as concern as like I would say these villagers. Now they didn't actually do any villager fixing during this new pre-release that just came out today, but hopefully we'll see some more in the future or maybe right before they do the full release for 1.14.2, they'll come out with some more fixes. I sent a message to one of the Minecraft developers, Corey, and he actually responded saying that they are aware of these villager problems and they're trying to fix them. So that's good to hear. And if you don't know him, he is the guy that actually uh, suggested the brown mushrooms, sort of as a joke, and they actually did introduce him into the game, which is pretty cool. They also fixed a bug to do with the server stop responding after logout error. They did sort of a visual fix where a lot of the full releases were still being called snapshots, which is a problem we've seen in past versions as well. Now, if you would like to look at this in more detail, I will provide the real download in the description as usual. A nice and simple iron farm to produce your iron ingots while you're working on other stuff. So guys, if you did like this video, be sure to give it a like and share it with someone else. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you would like to get notifications, go ahead and hit that bell button. And that way you don't miss any new videos or when I go live on Twitch. I'd love to hear what you guys think about the changes to iron farms. You can tell me all that down in the comments. And I would like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.